Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In 2023, mainland China's chip manufacturing giant SMIC released its performance report for the fourth quarter and full year of 2023, showing a decline in performance. Although the annual revenue reached 452.5 billion yuan, a year-on-year -year decrease of 8.61%, the net profit was only 48.23 billion yuan, a year-on-year -year decrease of 60.25%. Such declining data is indeed surprising and quite severe. The main reasons for this impact are oversupply in the market and low capacity utilization. At the same time, other fabs have also fallen into price wars, causing prices to collapse and profits to fall. SMIC is not the only company facing such a dilemma. Wafer fabs focusing on mature processes, such as global foundries, UMC and Power Semiconductor are also facing similar situations. Even the performance of large companies such as Samsung and TSMC in 2023 is not satisfactory, and they also encountered the problems of low capacity utilization and falling prices. In 2024, the situation will still be severe for these fabs. In just over a month, six Taiwanese and Korean wafer fabs have announced reductions in wafer prices. The Korean manufacturer is Samsung, which has attracted much attention today. They have begun to continuously adjust the prices of mature chips in 2023 and will further reduce them in 2024. This also implies that Samsung is currently facing difficulties and has fallen into a price war. Taiwanese manufacturers include UMC, PSMC, VIS, and Tower, which are four wafer fabs that focus on mature processes. The competition they face is extremely fierce, and price wars have become inevitable. In addition, TSMC's mature wafer prices have also been reduced, while the reductions of Taiwanese manufacturers vary, but most are between 10% and 20%. In fact, not only Taiwanese and Korean manufacturers are making price adjustments, but SMIC has also lowered prices. Media reports said the price reduction was about 10%. In addition, Huahong and Jingha integrated products in mainland China are also reducing prices, with the maximum reduction reaching 10%. It can be seen that the cold winter of the chip industry is not over yet, at least under the current circumstances, it still exists. After all, the top 10 chip manufacturers seem to be trapped in a price war, and various fabs continue to expand production. It is foreseeable that we will face more intense price competition in the future, and our performance may become even less optimistic. Mainland China's wafer fabs are under great pressure. Mainland China's wafer fabs are facing tremendous pressure and the brutal price war is making it difficult for them. SMIC, as the number one company in China's chip manufacturing industry, has not been spared. The 2023 performance report shows that the net profit dropped by 60.25% year-on-year is worrying. Other manufacturers that focus on mature processes such as Global Foundries, United Microelectronics, and Power Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, Limited, are also facing extremely difficult situations. 
As the world's leading chip manufacturer, Samsung is also facing a lot of pressure. They have already begun to adjust prices in 2023, and in 2024, they will lower wafer prices again. This series of actions shows that Samsung itself is in deep trouble and a price war is imminent. In Taiwan, well-known manufacturers such as UMC and TSMC are also facing the challenge of price wars. Because the price war is so cruel, other mainland China wafer fabs are also urgently cutting prices to cope with the fierce market competition. SMIC's price reduction is about 10%, and the highest reduction rate of Huahong and Jinghe integration reaches 10%. This undoubtedly increases their competitiveness in the market, but it also further compresses profits. Future Challenges for the Chip Industry Currently, the chip industry is facing a series of challenges and pressures. The first is that the market is oversupplied, leading to declining capacity utilization and price collapse. This has severely impacted the profits of major wafer fabs, and they have to cut prices to maintain market share. Secondly, Major wafer fabs around the world have expanded production, resulting in intensified market competition and increasingly fierce price wars. In terms of technology, the research and development and production of new generation chips have brought higher costs and greater pressure. How to deal with various challenges has become a key issue in the development of the chip industry. Mainland China's wafer fabs need to strengthen technological innovation, reduce costs, and improve capacity utilization to enhance competitiveness. At the same time, the government should also increase its support for the chip industry, strengthen policy guidance, promote industrial upgrading and transformation, and upgrading, and provide enterprises with a better development environment and policy support. Generally speaking, currently, wafer fabs in mainland China are facing huge challenges. Brutal competition in price wars has further reduced profits, while global production expansion and technological advancement have also put greater pressure on manufacturers. How to survive in competition and get rid of the dilemma of price war is a problem that Chinese mainland fabs need to think about and solve. Only through technological innovation, transformation, and upgrading can we gain greater competitive advantage in the global chip industry and achieve sustainable development.